She gets to the second floor. She gets to the third floor. She gets to the fourth floor. She gets to the fifth floor. She gets to the sixth floor, seventh floor, eighth floor. She might even make it all the way up to the 49th floor. You know, like 49th parallel in the last movie we did. Eh, fuck it. Hello there, Criterion 8 here. All right, I was just reciting all the different uh, different things that could happen when a woman ascends the stairs. Oh, God, you're so bad at these intros. Anyway, number 377, Mikio Naruso is When a Woman Ascends the Stairs, the Japanese title of which is in Japanese. I can't read it, so I can't pronounce it, so there you are. Anyway, 1960, 111 minutes, black and white mineral Japanese, blah, 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 blah. Um, not bad. Uh, another cool Toho movie, a Toho movie that ain't Kuro Kurosawa, so that's that's a treat too. Um, I'm gonna have to get the booklet out because I'm already forgotten all the characters' names. Um, this is yeah, a neat little movie. Um, and uh, yeah, so let me tell you all about. It. So, the main the main woman is a woman named Keiko. The woman ascending the stairs is a woman named Keiko, who uh, is, who's I want to say affectionately titled, but not really affectionately. Uh, named Mama, um, because she's a widower, and she was, and she's in her late 20s, she's like, I think 28, 29, or something like that, and so because of that, she's, I guess, too old, you know, so she's kind of like the mother figure, which is kind of like, it's like, God, that's kind of insulting, you know, considering, <laughs> considering how young 29 is, you know, um, so yeah, so she works as a hostess in, like, these bars, these upstairs, like, bars that you know businessmen go to and she works for this guy um what's his name uh nobuiko uh no that's not his name um that is uh, a man uh, the guy ken kenichi Kom Koma komatsu who's played by the great uh tatsuya nakari you remember from like movies like uh harakiri and i think the sword of doom um and so yeah, so he's uh, so Komatsu is his her boss, is Keiko's boss, and she she has plans to get out of you know working for him. She wants to start her own her own uh, bar, open her own bar and all that. And uh, but she needs to raise up money, and she's having a hard time you know um, dealing with her you know her husband's death. Um, and uh, she ends up I guess getting. She ends up quitting her job and ends up, at one point she ends up quitting her job and moving back in with her family. And um, she ends up having to get the money from all these businessmen who she's like pledging, they're pledging money to her. However, she ends up having to pay off her brother's, like, her brother's bail or something like that. Her brother got arrested or something, so she pays off his sentence or something like that. So he ends, the judge ends up reducing his, his, the fine or something like that. Um... And take end up taking care of her family and her her mother is like kind of deem I think ends up deeming her a burden on the family. Um, but yeah, so anyway, she ends up you know meeting up all these businessmen, and I won't spoil the ending. But basically, it is sort of a, just basically a movie about a woman trying to be independent in a male dominated world in you know in early sixties Japan. Um, uh, what was the area of the what was the area they live in? Uh, the Ginza district of uh, of, uh, of Japan. So yeah, um, <clears throat> I don't think I. This is the first Naruse movie we have, and I don't know if we have any more. I'm gonna find out real quick because I don't think. Yeah, I don't honestly don't think there there have been any others, and I had not heard of that name. I honestly don't think I've ever heard of that name since. Uh, Let's see here. Naruse. Uh, yep, yeah, this is the only Mikio Naruse movie we we have in the Criterion Collection. So I guess this is his, his shining shining example of uh, excellentness, you know. So anyway, Naruse. Yeah, um, a really cool movie. I, I liked it a lot. I thought you know Keiko's story is you know really tough one, um, but I just you know I think the acting is fantastic and the just what they do and the story is really really cool um i love the movies you know there's a great line i think one of the first i, I mean from the first line i was hooked you know i think the first line was like um downtown the downtown district or something like that uh what does she say it's like the 
the bar, these bars, they show like the bars, these bars during the day look like women with no makeup or something. And I was like, whoa, that's a really interesting, you know, um, uh, that's an interesting analogy, you know. And she's like, when the when the night when the when the sun goes down, the district this these streets belong to us or something, and that this is when our work begins. And I'm like, I love her narr her narration really gets you into the the mood of the story. Um, and yeah, I wasn't sure about you know how the the whole what the the topic of when a woman ascends the stairs. I thought it might have might have had something to do with prostitution or something like that. Not, and I'm sure there's probably a little bit of that, you know, in this movie, but not through, you know, you know Keiko. You know, she's really respectable and all that. Um, just, a, you know, just simply, you know, hostessing and all that. I mean, if it's there, you know, she's just entertaining, you know, entertaining, you know, old businessmen, you know, bald businessmen who come in with the suits and business and throw their money around, you know. And yeah, again, it's a, just a very, this is you know, a really interesting story. I don't have much else to say. Just again, directed well. I thought the narration was a really nice touch, and that's it. I I don't have much else to say. I thought it was just another cool movie. I'm feeling like you know a lot of the movies this uh, this week and you know last couple of movies, they're good. They're, sometimes there are just a lot of movies that you know I don't want to summarize the plot too much. Um, Sometimes I want to just tell you everything because it's like, holy shit, you know, this movie, like 49th Parallel, you know. It's easier when there's a lot of action and, you know, all that. I mean, not that there isn't a lot of action in this movie, but that being said, you know, it is it is more about the dialogue and, you know, all that. So, anyway, yeah, again, I think it's just, it's a cool movie. Um, I'd love to see maybe some more Marusi's work. This is what I could see. I don't really, you know, can't really put an opinion on him as a director just from this one movie so so criterion get on it stop releasing you know stop releasing stupid movies you know release some good ones anyway what a woman ascends the stairs we'll give it an a a fantastic stuff and i don't know if i want to own this one but i wouldn't mind seeing it again maybe in the near future i might I might check it out again i thought it was a oh, it's a good one yeah so yeah, when a woman ascends the stairs, hey, supplements, um, audio commentary with John Ritchie. Um, there's an interview with uh, Tatsuya Nakari. Uh, he talks about uh, working with, uh, talking about working with uh, Naruse and um, how I guess he was a really quiet director compared to all the other directors he had worked with. Um, and yeah, and then there's a uh, there's the trailer, and yeah, that's basically it. So I check this one out. When a woman stares the stairs. Gets an A from me. So that's it for this week. Uh, Sunday. Sunday. Rewatch Sunday. Yeah. Children of Paradise. Oh, boy. Um, and then next week. Next week. Next week. Next week. We've got... So we've got the next Tuesday. Well, actually, I don't know. Next Wednesday, maybe. Maybe next Wednesday. Probably next... Uh, maybe even next Monday, actually. We might do this on Monday. Um... Well, no, pro probably Tuesday, probably Wednesday. We'll do this. We'll do have a double feature to Wednesday. Um, Fires on the Plane and the Burmese Heart, both Colin Ichikawa movies. And then Thursday, next Thursday, Naked City. And then next Friday, Lahain and Lahain, Lahain. I'll figure out how to pronounce that. Maybe, probably not. And then sometime. Sometime the week after, sometime later, or maybe maybe before that, maybe next next Sunday we'll do get to uh, these bad boys right here. We got one of these or the other, Equinox, Seduce and Abandon. I may end up rewatching Equinox again, um, just because, just because. And then again, Seduce and Abandon, Seduce and Abandon. I'm definitely rewatching because I feel like I really lost it halfway through or something like that. It was just it got really confusing. So. This one I'll definitely rewatch. This one may be just the supplements, you know. We'll see. Anyway, and then uh, the others I've ordered. Um, I ordered Orville. I again, I already ordered Overlord, which probably will be in some sometime soon. The first Eclipse is on its way. I ordered that one. That one will be here probably maybe tomorrow, um, if not next week. And the week after, yes, yeah, week after the starting the thirtieth or the uh, maybe yeah probably the thirtieth will start. Because I think we've got five movies, and I'll do one each day, because it's just a movie. Um, I can do I, even though I work on Mondays now, I can do a movie after I get off work, and I think they're probably pretty short. I don't know, actually. 
Let's find out. Let's find out how long is Torment. I honestly don't think I have that cataloged yet. Nope, I do not have that cataloged. Um, nope, uh, let's find out here. Torment. Torment, Torment, Torment. T-O-R-M-E-N-T. -E torment, uh, um, movie. Let's see. No, uh, Hets. Hets! Hets, 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 Hets. Padding out the film, padding out the review. 101 minutes. Well, we'll still do it. But again, that's the th great thing about the Eclipse series. No supplements, so just movie. Ain't got to worry about all that, you know, all that blah, blah, blah. Just movie. Just take a movie for what it is. Uh, I like that a lot, you know. I mean, supplements are cool, you know, but sometimes just movie, you know. Anyway. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. Um, ascend the stairs. Uh, don't ascend the stairs. No, that's not. It. Um, if you ascend the stairs, make sure it's the the, the the stair. You own the stairs that you ascend, or something. I don't know. And uh, don't pay off your brother's debt if uh, he's gonna treat you like a jerk afterwards. Um, and yeah, we'll leave it at that. So anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. We'll see you Sunday for Children of Paradise and next week for uh, the Konichikawa movies. And until then, goodbye.